Hey guys, SDNG here today. I am back playing The Crew. This is episode 3 of my free roam series. I'm not with uh, Mr. APR29HG today. I apologise about that. We will return to Bridge Battles at a later date. Oh, there's families there. It's a pause. Um, so yeah, I think that's where they are. Pretty sure they are. Um, so today I thought I'd do a showcase of all my vehicles. Just a quick note to say, if you're um, expecting other episodes of my other series, is um, oh, I am sorry, I will get around to doing those, but for now I'm just doing the crew right now. Um, so this is, I'm not that good at car names, so bear with me. But this is the first car I ever bought. Uh, it's a full stop, because you always get cars full stop first in this game, I believe. Um, and it, yeah, it's quite a nice car, I like it. It's, uh, it's called the, let me have a look, the Ford Mustang GT 2011. Um, I do really like this car, and but I, I never drive the full stop one. So I never realised actually until the other day to drive the full stop one, so it's just kind of stupid of me. But I just didn't really notice. Um, so now I got this car in street spec. So I have this car that you can see here in a street version. So let me just quickly show you this car. And then, just another look. I got this car in the street spec. So if we have a look at that now, oh, that's the wrong thing. Um, so here is that exact same car but in street spec. As you can see from the back here, it is already slightly different. Uh, if you have another, um, it does look a lot different as well. Um, same colour. I, um, I like this colour. So yeah, this was the, like the first ever car I kind of went around this stuff in, so um, I'm always going to keep this car. As you can see, the rating of it isn't that high, it's 525 on the left hand side of the screen. Next to it is street spec, and then um, my name has a there, my, my um, PlayStation 4 name. So yeah, I really like this car, and now let's move on to the next car. Which, which is... I'll move on to my um, dirt car actually, I got the dirt car version of this, um, of course, which is uh, like so. I decided to change the colour on this car, so as you can see this is the dirt car version of the Ford Mustang GT 2011. I'm just basically giving you a taste of the cars on this game, but this is, you can get loads of cars, this is just one of them, in all its different specs. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, it looks quite nice and shiny. This car was a bit um, mucked up, but I got it fixed. So now, if we move on to the next car on the list, which is the Perth spec of the Ford Mustang GT 2011. As you can see, it's not in perfect shape right now. We'll just take a quick look at it. Yeah, I really need to get that fixed. I'll just quickly call up the mobile mechanic. Um, and I will, do I have enough money? Yeah, I do. I will repair that car. So as you can see, it already looks a lot nicer. Um, I really like it. So let's just have another quick look. Yeah, this looks really nice now. And uh, I like the, the red colour. So yeah, if now we move on to, once I've done this nitro boost, onto the next car on the list, which is the RAID car, the RAID spec of this Ford Mustang GT 2011. Uh, just a quick note to say, the street spec I think was the one in episode 1, pretty sure it was, where um, I was getting into cop chases. Uh, so yeah, this is the RAID one, I like it, obviously this is meant for going off road, so I'll just go up here quickly. Just look, oh, there's a tree. Um, but yeah, this is ideal for going off road and tracks like these, and oh yeah, I really enjoy using this car, I went for the dark blue on this and yeah, I really like it. So now, oh, nitro's refilled, gonna boost that up again. Oh, birds. Okay. Not that the game lets you run over anything, I just like to stop it. So now if we move on to the next car on the list, which is the circuit spec. Sometimes in this game I feel like getting out of my car and getting into, um, you know, Finding other cars to get into, uh, like a Lexus undercover. But um, 
you know, you can't do that. So you're just stuck in the car, but it's a good thing, because as you can see, this map is huge. Um, I think I showed you in episode one, I'm sure I did. And yeah, so this is the uh, circuit spec. Circuits are usually known to be the fastest cars in the game. Good for circuit racing, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, I really enjoy this car. Just quickly do the match here in this. Alright, and we'll stop here to pull up the next car. So that's all the Ford Mustang GT 2011 different specs. And now I move on to the cars I have bought, which are others. So now we have our full stock RUF CTR-3. I believe that's what it's called. No, I'm wrong, right? Yeah, RUF CTR-3. Uh, yeah, I like this car. I like the uh, white colour on it. It looks really nice and shiny. Um, yeah, it's nice to drive. It just just feels like a nice fast car. But um, I decided to get this car in the perf spec. Um, so I'll quickly show, because as you can see down there, I'm pretty sure it's one of the full stop cars, maybe not have nitro boosts on them. Uh, but yeah, this is, so basically you're just kind of driving a normal car here, and it's when you drive the full stop cars. So now I will show you the, um, so I've got the full stop OUF CTR-3, and I got that in the perf spec, which um, I really like, I'll show you that now. And um, this is where I got into nice paint jobs, and yeah, it just it just looks so nice. And this was the first kind of um, I don't know, custom, like proper felt like it was customised. So if that's not the grammar there, so okay. Um, just got a little challenge here, but yeah, this was really good fun to drive. And this was kind of, as I said, the first, well, not the first car I bought, but it felt like it in a way. And uh, obviously, I've got the uh, the. Uh, Ford Mustang GT 2011. This was the first car I bought after that in the full stock and then in the perf stack. So now I will. This car is not looking that good, so I have to get that fixed up at another time. But right now we're going back to the mobile garage and getting into the next car, which is my full stock Mini Cooper Mini Cooper S Countryman All Four. Um, so yeah, because this was I think the full first full stock car, then I realised I could drive them. I drove this, and it, this literally does just feel like you're driving a normal car, um, you know, a normal car that most civilians drive. And yeah, it doesn't go that fast, which is a good thing because it causes you to oh, more balls back there. I think they're balls. And um, yeah, it just feels like obviously you can go faster than sorry, uh, faster than these cars. Um, and these vehicles on the road because uh, they all go at the same speed, I believe, uh, except if it's an emergency vehicle. I think. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure if it's an emergency vehicle, it goes um, a lot faster. So now we are going to all sorry, let's see that. Going to move on to the next car. Just quickly have a look at this. It doesn't look too wrecked actually. Oh, there it does. But yeah, it's in pretty good shape. Now on to the next car in the mobile garage, which is, oh wait, no, sorry, I forgot to tell you, I got this in raid spec, which you saw on my most recent um, video on this series, when I was doing the bridge battle, so yeah, this is the raid spec version, I got um, a cobweb design on the outside, and again, the paint job is really nice, they're quite expensive, so um, I can't imagine me getting many more of these paint jobs and stickers, uh, which you can see there with the cobwebs on my car in the future. So yeah, yeah, I do like this car a lot as well. Um, oh, oops, sorry, spotted, if you have a look, it does look very nice in the RAID spec. And the RAID spec version of this car is called something slightly different, I just saw. It's called the Mini Countryman All 4 Racing. Um, so yeah, that's that car. Now we're going to move on to my most recent car. But uh, this is the full stop version of it, the 2012 Dodge Charger SRT-8. And here it is. Is it normal to say the hyphen? I'm not sure if it is, but in the comments, I don't know if I'm sounding really silly right now. So yeah, I've got it um, here in black, and yeah, it's a really nice car. There we have an ambulance, yeah, that does go faster. Um, so yeah, I do really like it. Um, you see the police go faster when they're in pursuit. And just normally, I think. Actually, no, not normally. Um, when there's an emergency. Oh, sorry, lorry, sorry. Um, oh, this car's now pretty wrecked, so I'd, again, I'll get that fixed up at a later time. Sorry I didn't show you it before um, 
it was pretty rough. Um, I will go back to this. So now I'm going to move on to my final car, which is the circuit version of this. This is probably, yeah, this is my best car. This uh, 2012 Dodge Charger SRT-8, the circuit spec. I keep it in this spec. Now, um, if you have a look at this, this is such a nice car. It drives really fast. I've got um, loads of jump scores with it with API 39 HD. And we were just kind of cruising around. Um, you might, I'll probably do um, an episode of that. Wow, I've already wrecked this car. Um, so yeah, so it's got 1093, I think that says, on the left hand side of the screen. So yeah, I really like it. I'll just quickly uh, show you around. I've got an octopus sticker which costs $55,000. Um, I think that's what you call them. Um, and yeah, it is. Uh, I do know dollars just, yeah, in the game. But yeah, and also the colouring, the green and. Wait, did I just. Yeah, I think I did kind of green and blue colouring and then the sticker, and it just looks really nice, and I really like this car. And you can go really fast in it. So I will quickly prepare this car, show you what it looks like. Um, prepared. So I'm. Um, I'm losing my cash here because they're just repairing these cars with my bomb mechanic. Ooh, that's nice. Let's see, I do really like this car. Um, nice and shiny. I keep on saying nice and shiny. Now, if we go back to other cars, I kind of wrecked, and um, that was the uh, full stock. Oh, it's okay now. All right, there we have it. The full stock car for wreck. Um, and now I believe I also kind of wrecked this car. Is that still the same? Oh no, that's good. It's, oh, I see. So when you go back to them, oh, that is such a nice car. I like that. Um, and I'll just show you a couple of others in more detail, such as this one, the Mini Countryman, all four racing. Nice one right there. I do have nice balance as well. And now we finally move on back to the full stock Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4. Wait, that is, I can you get the name of that one right? Mini Countryman All 4 Racing. Countryman and then Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4. Please so get that right, sorry about that on both of those names. Um, yeah, again, it's a really nice car. The, the, the graphics in this game are just so good. Um, yeah, I don't know, sometimes I feel like this game isn't hyped up enough as it should be. I mean, I suppose this game is like a year and a half old now, I'm not sure around that. Um, but it still should it, it should have got way more attention than it did. Um, yeah, I really like I'm not too sure how much attention it did get, but I know it was, from what I know, it wasn't that hyped up. I think Sidemen might have done some videos on it. I know um, how he did. But yeah, I really like this car. Try and park. No, I was going to try and park like a normal person. There. So, um, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you. Well, maybe not actually see you, but speak to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.